going on everybody uh today we're back and uh the start of the show is the leftover brisket so welcome back to the leftover series today it's cold it's snowing outside figured you know what let's do some cooking i got this uh beautiful brisket that's left over and you're probably wondering what i'm going to do with it with all these beautiful veggies and stuff on here so today we're making chili. So I'm gonna show you what I would do with the brisket and uh, all these beautiful veggies, a little bit of prep, and then in the pot. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what we have all together here, but uh, let's get going. We've got the brisket. I've got some onions I'm gonna dice up. Has some celery. I'm gonna throw it in there. Don't know if you normally would, but I'm going to. Got a couple jalapenos there, some mushrooms, tomatoes. I have some cilantro. I'm only gonna throw in a little bit because a lot of people don't like it, but I do. But I just wanna throw in a little bit. Canned red beans, can't go wrong. I had some vegetable stock, so I'm gonna use that as well. And all the different spices, which I will be touching on. I don't think I forgot anything, so let's go. Nice sharp knife. I'm going to cut the brisket up. I'm just going to dice it up. And when I'm doing that, I will take out the fat. And we don't need that in there. See how tender it is? It just starts falling apart. Awesome. All that lovely bark is going to flavor this quite nicely. So there again, the fat, just leave it there, we don't need it. I'm dicing it up, but if this stuff falls apart in the cooking process because it's so tender anyways, I'm not worried. Got a nice amount of meat. We're gonna gonna do the onions next, and then get them on so they they can uh, brown up a little bit, and then throw in the mushrooms and celery. And uh, so yeah, let's have some fun with this. I'll try not to cry for you, but I can't guarantee. And when you're doing this, yes, a really sharp knife really does help. Well, I was going to say, besides having a, a vacuum packaging machine, which is going to save you lots of money in the kitchen, buy yourself some good knives. Don't cheap out, please. They're a Japanese blade, which I've used for years and I love. I'm going to turn the... Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Don't like onions. I like eating them, but the cutting... Uh, so we're gonna get the, the pot on and throw these guys in with a little bit of olive oil. To the pot we go. So the nice thing is usually we'd put the ground beef in too, brown that off, but with the brisket, it's fully cooked. It doesn't need to go through all that fun stuff. But I am going to cut up a couple stalks of celery just because I have it and uh, throw it in there too. And don't worry if everything's not the same. It's We're not a factory here. You're doing some home cooking. So uh, just a couple stalks. We're going to throw that in. Mushrooms. Not everybody likes mushrooms. I do. They're not probably a typical thing you'd put in a chili. But I'm going to, you know, do a little different. Add some other flavors. I don't like the stalks. I normally just pop them off. So with these, we're just gonna slice them up and uh, throw them in the pot as well. It might look like a lot, but mushrooms, if you don't know, they're full of water and they will shrink down a lot when you cook them. Okay. Before I put this in, just give everything a quick stir and jalapeno. I'm only gonna add one, take out the seeds, dice it up really, really tiny. Uh, if you like heat, you can always add more. I'm taking out the seeds because that's 
where the most of the heat is. And if this was anything hotter, I'd be wearing gloves. I'm gonna throw this into the pot too. Most people will probably just use like a diced tomato in a can. I love tomatoes, so I'm gonna dice them myself and use some fresh. We're gonna simmer this for quite a long time. Sorry, actually, so they're gonna break down really nicely and you'll see, it's gonna work out nice. And if your knife feels like it's getting dull, pull out a steel, run it on the steel, and you'll have a sharp knife again. It's not, it's just a quick way of uh, touching up the, the edge. Cilantro, like I said earlier, I'm just gonna throw a little bit in. Not a lot, but it's very powerful. So if I need more, I will add more. I think we're gonna add the meat next, then the tomatoes. So let's go. I added the spices, uh, some chili spice, uh, a little bit extra chipotle, a little bit of cumin, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna wait till everything else is in and after it's simmered for a while before I finish off where I want it to be. Just some red kidney beans. I'm gonna throw them in. It's a lot of prep, uh, but once it's all in the pot, you just let the stove do the do the hard work. Hard part's done. All the prep. I'm just gonna clean up a bit now and uh, let the pot do its thing on the stove. I'm gonna let it go for at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Nice thing about doing a chili, you can always do it the day before. Let's see what what. The magic happens. Welcome back everybody. Uh, that's been on the stove for probably two hours simmering. Like I thought the cubed uh, brisket totally fell apart, which is okay, I told you that. But And I've got two taste testers here. And you might know Brian. He does ghost hunting. I will link yes. his channel below. I sometimes go and help him film, so but he was uh, kind enough to stop by with the kid and uh, do live taste testing. So here we go. You guys ready? Yes, sir. Bring on the food. <laughs> Anybody want cheese? Yes, please. Definitely yeah. cheese. Okay, so we're gonna move you back. Some old cheddar. We'll go with that. Hit everybody a spoon. 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 Thank you, sir. One. Thank you. Two. Thank you. And I'm gonna just try it this way for now. So here we go. If I die, it's Andre's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely get a smoke though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The smokiness from the brisket really comes through. Yeah. I did use chili spice. I did use a little bit of chipotle, black pepper, salt. Not too much because I wanted the flavor, the star of the show to come through and I think it did. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Definitely. You could even use like, you get that liquid in the chili. You could even use that as a flavoring or mm -hmm. something because it tastes so good. Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to continue eating off camera. So, uh, thanks everybody for stopping by. Eat Andre's chili. So. <laughs> so, like I said, Brian does ghost hunting. I go help him film every so often when I can. So, I will link his channel below if you want to find out about ghosts and uh, all what's involved. Go check his uh, channel out. And uh, till then, thanks for watching and uh, happy eating everybody.